The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Timeline. Now this is the diversity pack. Uh, we have just opened this, so we are on even footing here. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, Megan, yep. as far as what anything is. So let's show you the cards that we have to start with. Okay, mine are the invention of the video game console. Cool. The invention of the ink pen. The invention of the dishwasher. The invention of the folding umbrella. The first appearance of Sherlock Holmes. How appropriate that you got that. And the invention of the zipper, but I don't know exactly when that was. So. Okay, I have... The invention of the pneumatic drill, the first man in space, West Side Story musical, you probably know that one, no. the carving of the Rosetta Stone, it's not just software to teach you a new language, oh, wow. the invention of the flute, I can't help but think of that make it so video with uh, Star Trek, Card. Yeah. Flute. and the shut up Wesley, and the invention of the tea packet. Ooh. You probably know that one, too. I like tea. Okay, so just a quick refresher for those of you that are not familiar with Timeline. We start with one card in the middle, and we have a date side up. And we are starting with the Fabrication of Glass, which is at 2500 BC. So that's going to be right there in the middle. Now, I'm assuming Megan's going to go first. So she is going well, to... Well, the youngest. Yeah, it does say the youngest. Because we need an advantage. This you game, probably know. Most board games are, you know, against old people. Yeah. Yeah, we always... you're supposed to let the kids win. Yeah. That's why. Because this is a family game. Anybody in the family can play this. Mm -hmm. So Megan's going to look at her cards, and she's going to try to determine which one is either before... Uh, whoops, before would be over here, duh. Yeah. Before 2500 BC or after 2500 BC. We're each starting with six cards, and the first player who successfully gets rid of all their cards is the winner. Now, if you choose poorly... Which yeah, happens you know, the, a lot. The, the knight in uh, Indiana Jones' the Last Crusade said that. He chose poorly. So if you choose poorly, incorrectly, you are going to discard the card, and you draw the top card off of the stack. So you don't want to try to get yeah. things wrong. So, let's get going. All right, young player, go yeah. first. Um, so, I have the invention of the dishwasher, and I'm pretty sure that came after the fabrication of glass. So, 1886, okay. right there. I'm going to go with the carving of the Rosetta Stone, and I'm going to say that is uh, before 2500 B.C., and that is in... Uh, 196. So, so that is wrong. Yep. So you, Oops. Actually, I don't get to place yeah, that. Yeah, you don't get to place Oops. it. You get a card. And my new card is the invention of the sundial. Okay. Um. Let's see. The invention of the zipper. I feel like that came after the invention of the dishwasher. 1891. Woohoo. Okay. Uh, I better go with an easy one then. Yeah. Let's go with the West Side Story musical. And I'm going to say that is after 1891, and it is 1957. Um, well, I'm assuming the invention of the umbrella, folding umbrella. I'm going to say that was before the invention of the dishwasher, so... 1705. Wow. I'm actually doing good at this one. I never would have guessed that. Well, the artwork on it, I kind of have to look at that too sometimes for clothes. It has a guy with like a powdered wig, so I assume that was before the dishwasher. Okay. Let's go with the, whoops, the invention of the sundial. I'm going to say that was before the fabrication of glass and 1500. Man, I am off. bad at this. It's really bad. And I'm this. getting the invention of the seaplane. Hmm. hmm. Um, so the invention of the ink pen, I'm going to say that was in between the folding umbrella and the dishwasher, 1884. Wow. Ooh, two two years, years to spare. 
Okay, yeah, this is going to be tough now. These are I haven't peaked tight. either, so I'm just really good at guessing today. Okay, I'm going to say the invention of the seaplane was after 1957. So right there, and it is... 1910. Wow. You are just... Gosh. You know, and I actually am trying. I'm just bad. Yeah. And I got the appearance of bees. That seems kind of odd. The appearance of bees? Well, then they Wouldn't bees always have been around? No, they disappeared too, remember? That's in the movie. No. Um, so I have the invention of the video game console. That's pretty easy. So I'm assuming that was definitely after West Side. I think that was Pong. That was... 71. Yeah, it 71? Is Pong. Pong was 71? Mm-hmm. Wow. I knew it was in the 70s. I didn't know it was that early. Okay. Um, the appearance of bees. Wow. I'm going to say the appearance of bees is after 2500 BC. I'm going to think it's right. right there. I need one right. Oh. oh a million. Yeah. Figures. I try to use the reverse logic on here because I'm yeah, thinking, no. you know, I would have thought bees would have been forever. I am getting the discovery of the ancient city of Petra. Now, I want to show this one because uh, those of you who like our movie references, do you know what movie this is from? Indiana Jones. And? Mummy. No. no. Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Crusade. What I just quoted the earlier. The third one? Is that the third one? That is the third one. Know. They all blur. So I have my last card. Oh, man. And it's Sherlock. And that is Victorian. So it's got to be in the 1800s. So it's around well, here. Yeah. Think about the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes new uh, episode that they showed earlier this year. Mm -hmm. You know, that was back in the uh, in the 1800s. So yeah. <sighs> do you remember? I don't remember if they set a date on that one or not. I'm going to go right here and say it's... Between, between 86 and 91? Yeah, because I feel like that's not a good enough gap. 84 to 86. So I'm going to try that gap. And it is 87. Wow. Ha ha. And I had five cards left. And I didn't mess any of one of mine up. Those are all my cards. Wow. Except that one, because that was an easy one. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> hand you the trophy. <laughs> Okay, so um, Megan gets the trophy again. Yay! I'm good at this. I yeah. had Sherlock on my side, though. You did. Uh, I just really <laughs> stunk. <clears throat> Could not get anything right. So, let's get to what we think. All right, Megan, I'll let you go first. I like it. Um, I'm did pretty well on this one compared to some of the other ones we've played so I think this is pretty good for me and it was just all guesses but educated guesses so I don't know your educated guesses were a lot better than mine yeah I think you just had some bad cards though so I could kind of work with it a little bit easier but yeah I like this game it's a nice quick little filler game doesn't take that long you can play with all types of ages so it's a fun little game. Yeah, and you can see, I mean, there is a huge stack of cards there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've watched any of our other timeline videos, uh, we're basically going to say the same thing. Tons of replayability. Mm -hmm. um, and some people give timeline a knock because they say, well, once you play it, you know, a few times, you're going to remember the dates. No. We have so many timeline games and there's so we many forget. things, I'm not going to remember the dates. Maybe the historical event things, mm -hmm. you know, like American history and things like that, I would remember. Um, but... You know, these probably not. Especially these inventions. I'm not going to remember when things no. were invented. That's kind of hard. But the artwork on the cards is really cool. Yeah, uh, cool. You know, I know I'm going to repeat myself from the other timelines. It comes in the exact same type of box. You can see the, uh, the snazzy felt-lined uh, box insert there. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. It doesn't take up a lot of shelf space. No. Uh, it's fairly cheap. It's, you know, like I said, very accessible to any member of the family. Hey, you should have known that one. I didn't have that one. I know, but you should have known it if you would have got it. The beginning of the 45? Because you always say, I have this on a 45. Well, that's just showing my age. So, you the, should have known the that The 45s, one. I think, had been around quite a while before uh, I what started do you, What mine. do you think? What's your guess on that one? Let's see if you're right. 45s, I think they came out in, I'll say, 52. 49. So, that's close. Wow. That's closer. That wasn't totally off compared to your other ones. I would have done a lot better there. <laughs> the only other one I had that I was... After I put 1957 down for West Side Story was the the first man in space. I think that was around the same time. I want to say, uh, I'm going to say after 57 just to see. And it was 61. 61. I knew so, it would be before 69 because yeah. that was the space landing. So, uh, 
So yeah, so that is Timeline Inventions. Mm -hmm. So we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.